Hi everyone, so with the release of Season of the Deep in Destiny 2 came a new aspect for Strand on Hunter, Warlock, and Titan. This new aspect for Strand on Titan creates one of the most fun abilities in the game, but I didn't want to lose the great feeling of survivability and the ability to suspend plenty of targets that the old Strand build provided, so I actually made two builds that you can decide which one you want to use. Each one uses this new Strand aspect, but combines it with Woven Mail, or suspending based on your personal preference. So without wasting any more time, let's see what makes these builds work. Now really quickly, both these builds do use the exotic auto rifle Monte Carlo, allowing you to gain your melee back much quicker, but it's not necessarily a requirement. Going into the first of the two builds, this one uses the exotic armor piece of Viant Leap. Dranger's Lash spawns two additional projectiles, tracks targets more aggressively, and travels farther, gain woven mail when suspending targets. Now this build is largely focused around keeping that ability to suspend targets whenever you need to, using your class ability. Looking at the strand subclass, I'm using the tower and barricade, along with the shackle grenade, and the aspects I'm using is Dranger's Lash, activate your class ability to create a ripple in reality that travels forward along the ground, suspending and damaging targets it hits, allowing you to suspend enemies, because this is the more suspend heavy build of the two. The other aspect I'm using is the new aspect for Titan, Fletchet Storm. While sliding, activate your charged melee ability to leap into the air, knocking nearby targets away and dealing damage. While airborne, activate your charged melee again to launch a cluster of damaging, unraveling projectiles. Repeatedly activating melee will chain additional throws. That's why you saw in some of the clips in the beginning how I was able to get out more than just three hits in one. The fragments I'm using is Threat of Mine, defeating suspended targets grants class ability energy, Threat of Warding, picking up orb power grants woven mail, Threat of Generation, dealing damage generates grenade energy, and finally Threat of Continuity, suspend, unravel, and sever effects applied to targets have increased duration. Looking at the mods for this first build, I am using two hands-on mods, gaining bonus super energy on melee kills. Considering this build evolves around you using your melee ability, you're going to be getting your super pretty quickly. And I'm using a kinetic siphon for my Monte Carlo exotic weapon. On my arms, I'm using heavy handed. Your powered melee final blows create orbs of power, allowing you to get those orbs of power, which we will spend on melee kickstart. When your melee energy is fully expended, you gain melee energy, just another method of getting your melee back. And finally, focusing strike grants class ability energy when you cause damage with your melee attack. On my chest piece, I'm using a charged up armor mod, increases the maximum number of stacks of armor charge you can carry by one, allowing you to proc your melee kickstart more often, and just a solar reserve mod for my heavy weapon. On my legs, I'm using an invigoration mod, reduces melee cooldown each time you pick up orb of power. I'm also using stacks on stacks, picking up orb of power grants you one additional stack of armor charge. Finally, I'm using better already. Your health begins to regenerate immediately after picking up an orb of power. Finally, on my Titan Mark, I'm using two outreach mods, reduces melee cooldown when you're using your class ability, and finally, utility kickstart. When your class ability energy is fully expended, you gain class ability energy, allowing you to use your class ability to suspend targets and giving you back some melee energy. Now the next of the two builds uses the new Titan aspect, but also keeps more of the woven mail aspect of the build from the previous season. It also works well with the new aspect because you're going to be dealing more melee damage with the exotic you're using in this build. So for the other build, the exotic you're going to want to use is the Syntheseps. The Syntheseps have the exotic perk Biotic Enhancements, increases melee lunge range, and improved melee and super damage when you're surrounded. The key here is the improved melee damage, allowing your melee to deal extra damage than it would with the other build. Really quickly, since I've been through this before, for your subclass, you're going to want to use the Tower and Barricade along with Shock or Grenade. With the aspect Into the Fray, destroying a Tangle or casting your Super, grants Woven Mail for nearby allies. You gain these Tangles by defeating targets with your melee ability or any Strand ability in general, allowing you to gain Woven Mail much more often than you would with the other build. And of course, the new aspect, Fletchet Storm. The fragments you want to use are the same as last, Threat of Mind, Threat of Warding, Threat of Generation, and Threat of Continuity. The mods are also largely the same, so I'll go through these really quickly. I'm using two hands-on mods, along with the Kinetic Siphon mod. On my arms, I'm using a heavy-handed mod, along with Melee Kickstart and Focusing Strike. On my chest, I'm using a Charged Up Armor mod and a Solar Reserve mod for my heavy weapon. On my legs, I'm using an Invigoration Armor mod, along with Stacks on Stacks and Better Already. On my mark, I'm using two Outreach mods and a Utility Kickstart. So, those are two of the new builds that utilize the new Titan aspect. Let me know down in the comments below what build you think you'll be using. I, for one, really enjoy the Syntheseps build, but it's really personal preference. Thanks for watching, and have a good day.